The Loi Kratong Festival here in Chiang Mai is a little bit different to Sukhothai Thai and other parts of Thailand. Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. In the previous video we celebrate the first day of the Loi Kratong Festival in the ancient city of Sukhothai, the birthplace of the festival. But in today's video we've left Sukhothai and set off on a four and a half hour drive through picturesque mountain ranges and dense woodlands to continue our journey up to Chiang Mai to catch the main event. Having safely arrived and checked into our accommodation for two nights, we begin today's video on the back of a song tower, headed towards the old town where the opening ceremony will take place. The ceremony would be taking place at the east entrance of the ancient city known as the Pai Gate, a popular site in Chiang Mai for hosting events. But to get in, you had to queue in fairly long lines that ran down the length of the old city walls. Once you were in, hundreds of yellow glowing lanterns would come into view that you could pass under and take phenomenal photos of. Additionally, elaborately detailed stages were on display, with one of the stages supporting seated models, while another stage featured a highly decorated animatronic elephant that could swivel its head from side to side, blink, flap its bird-like wings and tail, all while carrying a very unstable looking chedi on its back. And at the center of it all was a grand lantern that featured a revolving centerpiece. There seems to be a show going on over there. The Loi Kratong Festival is often accompanied by beauty contests, with last year's winner making a special appearance at this year's opening ceremony. We will now proceed for the, for the awards ceremony, the making of banana leaf Kratong competition that held here yesterday. This lantern right here is the winner of the lantern competition here in Chiang Mai. It stands about two and a half meters long, very ornate, predominantly featuring gold accent, purple and violet colors. Uh, this was second place, a lot more complex. Uh, actually, this is interesting because uh, this one's got an articulated little bit in it. All right, we're gonna get out of it. The next place we want to check out was somewhere close to the river, as that's where everyone would be selling off their croutons. So we hopped in the back of a tuk-tuk and whizzed there. And there's a lot of people out here. There's even more people here than there were at the ceremony. Look at it. All right, there seems to be a lot of people on that footbridge and uh, I kind of want to go over it. Wow, look at that. It's so much more busy here than it is in Sukhothai. Oh, pretty. It looks like people have got their own fireworks and they're setting them off from the banks and the bridges. It's a bit scary though, because uh, one just went off here and scared the living daylights army. But the reason why I drove all the way up to Chiang Mai was for the lantern festival known as Yi Peng that runs in tandem with the Loi Kratong festival. During this festival, thousands of floating lanterns are released into the air where they float elegantly and illuminate the sky in bright warm colors. These are a few clips from when I celebrated New Year's in Chiang Mai back in 2020 before the pandemic hit. So the precise location of where we are here in Chiang Mai is along Wichayan Road and it's right next to the river 
and we're walking along the banks right now where there's plenty of street food stores and food, fireworks, croton vessels and a few lanterns in the air as well. To be honest, I'm walking around aimlessly. We don't have a plan at the moment. I don't feel hungry, uh, but what I do want to do is find some lanterns that we can light up and set off in the air. You usually have people walking down these soys that you can buy lanterns off. About 50 baht each, really. And I think the bigger ones are about 100 baht or 75 baht per one. However, the much anticipated Yipeng Festival was sadly cancelled this year due to safety concerns for air traffic in the local region, where perpetrators could face a three year jail sentence and a 60,000 baht fine if caught setting off a lantern. I honestly think if the festival was cancelled for years to come, Chiang Mai would have lost a significant portion of its unique identity. So if you buy a croton, right, and you want to set off into the river, you actually have to queue up to be able to access the rivers. There's only like, there's only a few piers in which you can do it along the river. And look at the queues. It's ridiculous. So yeah, look, I don't see any movement. People probably queuing here for like a good 30 minutes. I'm not gonna lie, the cratons I'm seeing here up for sale are like some really makeshift ones in comparison to uh, Sukhothai, I mean. The ones at Sukhothai were so much bigger and elaborate. But here, it looks like people have got the base with like a banana leaf wrapped around with a few pink ice cream cones and a bunch of like yellow flowers. Here, here it is. We've got one vendor right here, I'll show you. I'm sorry about that, it's uh... Even I can make that croton. Oh, this one's got smiley faces and printed piece of paper. Because she can't eat this one. Are you sure? Yeah. Can humans eat it as well? I think Chiang Mai is a lot more bustling with people, but Sukhothai, the ambience was better. Here it feels like an unorganized chaos. <laughs> my girlfriend just found 20 bar on the floor. Brilliant. Now that's mine. <laughs> It's really packed out today. We're literally bumping and rubbing shoulders with strangers. Ah. While wearing face masks. <laughs> Come on, cab. How am I supposed to get through this? Oh. The sheer amount of people that have turned out here today is insane. It's ridiculous. Ah, look, these are better cartons. Yeah. So, in there, it's all like up. So, pan. Some pan, 2000. Oh, some pan. All right, we're going to pack it in for today and go back to our hotel. Okay everyone, I'm going to be wrapping up today's video here. I'm sure many of us who were in Chiang Mai for the Lantern Festival were very disappointed to learn we could not set off any lanterns this year. But if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you like, subscribe to the channel and share the video with friends and family. And I will see you on the next video. Many thanks for watching, take care and bye for now.